Hi everyone! Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm coming at you with my MAC Mini Haul slash short makeup review or first impression slash my summer makeup tutorial. That explains why I don't have any makeup on. Last week, I went to MAC Gate Mall with the purpose of doing one thing, Back to MAC. For those who are unaware or late bloomers like me, Back to MAC is a program that allows you to get a lipstick of your choice for free in exchange of your six empty or old MAC containers. I returned four Studio Fix, one Select Sheer, and one empty mascara. The beauty consultant who assisted me was so accommodating. She was so helpful. She even did a makeup trial on me. And I ended up buying almost everything that she recommended. This is a MAC Mineralized Charge Water Hydrating Mist. It claims to hydrate your face, makes your makeup have a nice dewy finish, and it makes it last longer. You could use this before and after applying your makeup. This is the MAC Mineralized Moisture SPF 15 Foundation in number 37. This is a lightweight, fragrance-free moisturizing, sheer to almost medium coverage foundation. I'll be using my Real Techniques Stippling Brush to apply the foundation, then a damp, Real Technique sponge to blend it on my skin. Also, please note that this has SPF 15, which means you may get a white cast in photos with flashes. As I've said before, my skin concerns I have tiny veins on both of my cheeks, red areas on the side of my nose, and I do get dry patches occasionally. For reference, I have normal to dry skin. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NC35. I use NW25 on colder months. I am going to use my Real Techniques Multitask Brush to apply this. You could use a dry or wet sponge or a foundation brush for precise coverage. This does clean on dry patches so I have to avoid the areas where I usually get one. I'll be using the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Red Chestnut. This brow set gives volume and keeps my eyebrows in place. For my eyes, I'll be just applying mascara and this is the MAC False Lashes Waterproof Mascara in Stay Black. Here's what the one looks like. It has short bristles that are packed and tapered at one end. For reference, my eyelashes are just straight down, short, and very fine non-existent eyelashes not found for my cheeks this is the MAC blush in copper tone it's a medium muted orange with brown undertones I'll be using my Real Techniques blush brush to apply it it's a matte finish and it gets slightly darker once applied on skin because the natural oils on the skin tends to darken them so a little goes a long way. Fairly pigmented and applies evenly on skin. I advise you to use this product with a lighter hand, slowly building up the color. For highlighter, this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's a warm tone, champagne beige with frosted sheen. I will be using my Real Techniques Multitask Brush to apply this. It doesn't have a white base so I think this will work on most complexions. For me, it doesn't add color. It just produces shimmer which I like. This could be used on both face and body. This is easy to apply, buildable, highly pigmented. Again, apply it on a lighter hand, slowly building up the color. For my lips, this is MAC Velvet Teddy. This is the lipstick that I got for free from my Back to Mac. It's muted, light medium, rosy beige with a hint of brown, and warm undertones. I'll be applying it directly from the tube. It glides on smoothly and evenly on my lips. 
This is in matte finish but compared to the matte lipstick that I have such as Russian Red, Living Legend, Please Me, Candy Yum Yum, this is not drying at all. Should I say semi matte? Also, I got another lipstick in the shade Stone. It's a muted grayish taupe brown and a semi matte finish like the Velvet Teddy. Neither drying nor hydrating. So here's the finished look. If you guys like this video, please give this a thumbs up. I'd like to know what you think by leaving a comment down below. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.